Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Kryn. I'm Baron and in the last video we defeated Solibaum, the Death Knight, sort of on autopilot. No, that's not where I want to go. I want to go down here and here and out. The Draconian messengers have run out into the open spaces to the south. They have stopped and are scanning the sky. Giant shapes swoop down on you. Most of the dragon, dragon's head for the fleeing messengers. One, a blue, peels off from the pack and attacks. Oh, really? Um, okay, you um, scatter. You run away too. And yell. Doesn't seem to work. You move into this direction and attack and miss. You run away too. Quit. I'll see. You have equipped the dragon lance, that should be the end of him. Exactly. You just stand there looking pretty. The party has won. Each character received 1341 experience points. Awesome. What do we get? Jewelry. Exit. Congratulations, the party gains experience. Ooh, there's a battle in the sky. As you recover from defeating the blue, vast gold shapes charge into the remaining reds. A titanic battle erupts in the air. Awesome. Some of the messengers are climbing on the backs of grounded red dragons. As the airborne reds stave off the attack by the golds. Draconians attack to protect the messengers from your threat. Really. What do we have? A Bozak, another Bozak, and Capex. Okay. What could you cast? Hmm. That's not too shabby. You cast a lightning bolt. You could do the same. Here. And cast a lightning bolt. Target it here. Very nice. You target your lightning bolt here. Very well. How many moves? Nine. Well, if you are fighting Draconians, you should switch the sword. Good night. You yell? <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Oh, he has one hit point. Let's see whether you can deprive him of that. No, you can't. Quit. The acid drains away. 
Okay, what do we get? We take two gems and 90 steel. Thank you. The gold have been successful in their aerial battle. A large gold lands next to you and says, the Draconians have managed to escape on the backs of the Reds. Climb on our backs and we'll go after them. You climb on the backs of the old dragons and take off after the diminishing red shapes in the distance. You pursue the red dragons as they race away from the to the northeast. As the hours pass, you come steadily closer to the city of Kernan. From the west another gold dragon approaches. On its back is a small candle. He shouts, Hi, I'm Tesselhoff Burfoot. Just call me Taz. Some The knight said you need some help, so here I am. Tesselhoff Burfoot. I read the German translation of the Dragonlands tales, you know, Chronicles and Legends of the Dragonlands, and there was a character called Tolpan Barfus in the main party. He was a candle. If you translate it word by word, it would mean Tolpan Barefoot. Maybe uh, in the English version he was called Tesla of Barefoot. I don't know. But that would mean we encounter another character from, you know, the Chronicles of the Dragonlands. That's awesome. The dragons are fairly stable, so you can rest for a bit while they keep on with the chase. Do you rest? Hell yes. So we fix, and now we can get our magic back. That's good. We rest on the backs of dragons. I like that. So get your detect magic. You get your hold persons and a prayer and a protection from evil and the sticks to snakes. Yes. You get a magic missile. On second thought. No. Maybe it would be nice to have a read magic just in case we stumble across a few scrolls. And uh, stinking clouds of course. A fireball and a lightning bolt. And of course an ice storm. You memorize a read magic and a magic missile. Two more stinking clouds. And you use the lightning bolt. Is that correct? Yes. You get back. Bless. Cure light wounds. Hold person. So we rest for 10 hours. I hope the flight is as long as the required rest time. Ah, oh, seems to be working nicely. And that's it. We exit. Oh, and save, of course. Saving is always useful. Exit. I think we're getting close. The reds are starting to slow. The red dragons head towards specks floating in the sky. The specks slowly grow until... You recognize them as flying citadels. Castles ripped from the earth by arcane magics. Surrounding them are evil horns of dragons and draconians. Airborne castles. That's awesome. Tesla yells, Our only chance is to use the reds as a screen and then board one of the citadels. We're easy targets in the sky. Inside they can't all reach us. Also, it will protect that scouting unit down below. You look beneath the citadels to see a group of riders galloping madly. You draw close and the dragons drop you in the main courtyard amidst a hail of missile fire.
The dragons leave to draw off some enemy. Teslov says, the main tower is just north of us. Let's go. The enemy fires at you and the departing dragons. And everybody is hit, apparently. Okay, let's take a look at the area. Not here. That's not so nice. So we move. Oh, now at least I get a... I get the direction. So we should go to the north, he said. You burst into the main tower and come face to face with draconians. Taz yells, I've been in a place like this before. There should be a stairway to the right. Mm, good. Wait, that's it. A few bars and a simple civic. If we don't lose our weapons, it should be easy. Yeah, yeah, you still have your quarter staff equipped. I forgot. Hey, you don't have that equipped. Oops. Oh, I have to identify that, of course. Why did I unequip that? That was rather stupid of me. You are awesome. You are awesome too. So back to attacking whom? You. Why do you miss? That should be enough. Thanks. Hmm. Good night. Quit. Oh, now you flee in panic. And Silver Say doesn't hit you. Oh, that sucks. Can you attack him? Or maybe you should close the distance somewhat. Where is he? There. Still not dead yet. I will not let you go. Where is my stuff sling here? Quit, quit, quit. No, we will not continue. 262 experience points is not too much, but we take it anyways. Yeah, one, of course. And 25. View, item. Get your stuff back. No, move. To the right, he said there would be a door or a stairway. More draconians arrive to block your way. Fine. You yell. Um, you move away. Yeah, come on. I like I care. Ah. Oh. Um.
sorry. I have to take you out. So you don't cast. Good night. Very nice, you die. Ow. Oh, the other one explodes too, that's good. And all of a sudden there's only one bars left. No bars left. No, I will not continue the battle, 177. 55 more steel coins where we could pool it and share it. Okay. And we climb up the stairs. There's a stairway here. Do you wish to go up? Hell yes. So we encamp, we save, and fix. That worked nicely. Moving on. More draconians arrive to block your way. Of course. Bozex. Well, what can I do? I don't care. Oh, you're dying. And you're hurting this one too, so he can't cast me. That's nice. You yell. Hmm, who could you attack? You could try to attack him. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work either. Fuck you. Now he casts. Oh. That's what you get. Good night. So, the spell casters are done. Six and three. Ah, would have been enough for the other one too. Quit. And you lose your weapon. Great. Good thing nobody's around to take advantage of you standing there without your weapon. So, well, view item, ready it again. We fix. No, we encamp and fix. Save. And climb up the stairs. Sure. More draconians. Uh, do we get that after every stair? Probably. <coughs> well. Bozex. Maybe she should cast a fireball. One, two, Well, good night. <sighs> Can you get a decent grip on your weapon? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> There's only one left, but hell yes. No, I don't have think you have to do anything. Rackle Dion will take care of the problem. No, I don't want to continue. <laughs> you keep losing your sword. Okay. One using menus one. Oh, that's a new one. Didn't have that before. One using menus one. Well, let's look it up then. Using menus, that would be all. That really would be all. Thanks. No area here. But I think that is the set of stairs leading up. Sure, I want to go up. Oh, this time I don't get attacked. Yeah, of course. We always go up. As far as we can. You have nearly reached the top of the tower. Only a ladder leads up from here. Tas says, We have reached the wind captain's chamber. I can control it from here. Mm, monsters leap down from the ladder. I hope they break their legs. Probably don't. What do we have? Oh, that's 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 all really. An enchanter and a few evil champions. No draconians around this time, so you use that sword. Oh, really? Maybe we should close the distance somewhat. Well, oh, doesn't make a difference. I kinda get the impression you're going down. He's probably going to surrender. No. <laughs> the impression was wrong. He is not going to surrender. Oh, a few daggers. Yeah, why not? Take them. There's still treasure. No, I don't want it. Taz leads you up the ladder and shows you the controls. He pulls out a curled bit of parchment. He hands it to Zara Whites. If you read this, I can move this flying rock after the red dragons. The parchment contains a single spell. When it is read, Teslov grows as tall as a man. He strides over and stands in the wind captain's chamber. You should get some rest before the enemy regroups, do you? Hell yes, of course. So we fix. Do you need to memorize anything? No. 
you also not? I think you used... Oh, that's nice. You get a bonus spell. What would you need? How about two fireballs? You don't need anything. Rest. I really appreciate that the game gives me the opportunity to do so. And um, so we save and call it a video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.